was a busy day today. I had to feed all my uh, pests that are in the breeding boxes. Um, Dinosaurus Hercules, Elephas, uh, Holcosoma Atlas, and Caucasus, and Chiosporioni. You can see some pictures here. And of course, uh, sometimes you have to just uh, give them some new food, see how they are, whether they um, seem to be okay, whether the substrate is wet enough. That's what I do normally every two weeks, so that's uh, sometimes a lot of work. Um, but now I want to check some uh, stages of larvae that I have um, in my breeding since uh, 22nd of March. So that's uh, two and a half months. Autumn to lapis, I have 10 uh, larvae, and I want to see. I also have autumn to lapis uh, as a pair in breeding, but I want to see how they how they live in that box with this kind of mixture of substrate health of it is a uh, white rotten wood in the form of kimchi half of it is a uh, flake so, so let's see seems a bit little bit too dry so probably afterwards I have to refresh it with a little bit more water but let's see whether the larva is still here and what she's doing in that substrate here. Of course, normally I compress it a little bit. And let's see whether we find the larva somewhere. Oh yeah, look, it's already pretty big. It has built a little cave here. And it's uh, now already an L3, uh, relatively freshly molded. And it's the typical shape of an odontolopis. Uh, they can be very vicious. I, I'm, be, I'm told that this is a small, it's a small L3, but this seems to become a big one because look at the head capsule. This is a really big head capsule of this larva of Odontolopis dalmoni intermedia. So what I do, I'm happy that she's fine here. Now I try to place her just back where she came from without letting me bite here. So, so actually, yep, come on here. So I just put the whole thing back like this because she was on the bottom of that box. And yeah, seems that she likes the substrate mixture here. That's very nice. Also, yeah, of course, if you open it, you can add some more humidity. If you feel that it's probably a little bit too dry, they seem to live in pretty wet spots. This Odontolopis dalmoni uh, larvae, so they, you can't be wrong giving a lot of humidity to these larvae. So that's one thing I wanted to check. 
Another one is that I not only have a pair of Metallifer Fine uh, in the in the breeding box where we can go and have a look whether they laid some eggs in about let's say uh, two months. But here I have also since 20th of April, so that's around five weeks, I had a 2L2 stage larvae. And now it's time to see whether they still live and also whether they like the substrate. Also here I think it's slightly too dry, but we can have a look later what they do. So here was a mixture of kimchi and oh here's one, but still very small. Look at this; it's not very, it's not seem to not getting bigger now here in this substrate. That's still pretty small. So they did make a big leap since uh, five weeks, so let's see whether probably it's too dry here or what. I don't have a clue, but yes, could be that it's too dry. Look, also looks a bit dried up here and I don't see the second larva. Oh, here it is. This is a little bit bigger, but it's still L2, so also this one is not a, a major Metalliferfine larva. So what I do, I compress the material again, and I add a lot more water. I think this is pretty too dry, so we can probably help them giving them a better substrate that is a little bit more wet. And then I just place them on this edge here in a hole and one in the other edge of the... so this is it. And fill it up with the original material. So they are still living but they didn't gain a lot of uh, size I think. So let's see, we have uh, time to decide later whether we want to give them another kind of a substrate. We check it in around one or uh, one month again. And then what I have here, there was an L3 giraffe in here, but I don't know, already it's written that I should check it June 16 and that's it, it's not June. But this seems to be a little bit too too wet, so let's see whether we can find something here. Oh, there seems to be a hole here, but oh, oh, it's still it's uh, it's not yet completely pre pupa but it's a nice and big larva. And I think I just place it back the way it was or at in about the way it was. From the size must be a female because this is not a monster. Uh, because males can be, get really big, especially the major ones that are over 10 centimeters long, they can be pretty big. Yeah, so I put, I put, uh, yeah, I think this is a female. Put her back here. But no earthworms in the substrate, that's a good. Good news here. Uh, I can just pull the substrate back. I have another box that I want to check also with Giroffo 
So let's see what we find here. Substrates looks funny. There's uh, dots of wet spots in, uh, but there's still some kimchi there also. Yeah, this is the kimchi material. So let's see where we find something. If, oh, look at this. Ooh, that's a poop bar. We have to save it. And uh, as you know, I normally I prepare this. This poop bar is not too far from a closure. So that's, that's it. It's pretty nice size. So how long is it? So this must be around seven centimeters. It will not be a big uh, major one, but it will be a nice uh, male. And as you know, I prepare it with these two peak pots. If you see that the substrate is okay, uh, you don't have to throw it away. Uh, you can just use the substrate uh, to put back the pupa. The pupa is a little nervous now because, of course, it doesn't want to be exposed like this. The pupal chamber was down here, you see that? So, I just place the pupa back like this. Then, I then put the other pot over it so that it has a pretty good and big uh, pupal chamber. And as I said, if the material is okay and looks like this looks like a good kinchy material here without any uh, earthworms, you just cover it. You don't have to compress it anymore because they don't eat now. And of course, you should write that you should have a look in around one month. So pretty nice. Everything is living. Also. This beautiful mister here, still living. Uh, at the moment we have no females to mate with him anymore. So, he's just uh, waiting for another female to come. Probably in two, three weeks we will have another female for him. Yeah, stay tuned here. If you like it, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, have a good day.